morning guys so um i had some toes yesterday y'all i had to upload stuff that was from older i was in the not in a, a good headspace yesterday so because of that um guys i'm not going to be able to upload any i have some stuff from yesterday i might be able to upload but i'll have to edit it i was not in a good head space space yesterday and that's on me i guess so um so my attitude wasn't where it needed to be and i was very um disappointed so i just it, i tried to go through the video and upload it like i would do my normal ones and then that was just i was so uh aggravated in the video that um i want to be able to edit it out and try not to be so um toxic I was very, very aggravated, so anyways, just put this crap in here. Um, so we are, um, this trailer's got a bent, um, busted axle, so uh, I've already towed this exact one. Uh, this might be my second time towing it now, but um, I remember my first time doing one of these. Because, because it's not like a car, you know, you don't have parking stuff. It's like it's free rolling. Um, I remember um, the what the tire was all the way off. Okay, and since that was the case, I had to I had to scoop it. I had to scoop it and um, it wasn't my first time scooping a trailer, but it was, uh, man, that, that aggravates me, dude, when you don't answer somebody's phone call and they, it's gotta be the same dude. Yeah, it was, okay. I'm not dealing with it. All right. Yeah. It's, um, the wrecker industry, y'all can be bipolar, right? So when I say that is one week you can you can smash a home run. Well, here's another thing too. Me being high energy, I never miss work ever, y'all. Like if I miss work, it's because I'm dying ill, which that barely, very rarely happens these days. So like I never miss work. I'm high energy, right? I uh, wake up early and I work late. I do not, I'm not, I've never been a great sleeper, which works perfect for this job because I'm able to, I'm able to get right up. It doesn't, it doesn't affect me like it does normal people. I don't need the massive amount of sleep that normal people need. Um, I'm usually pretty good to operate off of, let's say, we'll just call it, if I get three hours, y'all, I'm crisp, okay? And I mean, I'm not even, not even exaggerating all i need is three hours of sleep and um i'm ready to go okay i'm gonna show y'all what i got hooked up you see them two hooks right there they're hooked okay and then i also do like a second measure okay all right there's one and what this does is this is just a secondary kind of like when you put your e-brake in with park you're allowing another thing to be in the equation to keep things from going completely south uh, to keep things from going completely south um, I have uh, been discussing a lot of techniques and um, different approaches with uh, Caesar Torres he is the uh, creator of Toman 127 um, shout out to him guys if you haven't subscribed to his channel y'all y'all need to go do so ASAP the dude is a beast his experience so his approach towards things is the careful approach okay we're gonna we're gonna call it like it is the dude is the probably one of the most careful one of the safest ops I think I've ever seen um, he is by the book he is uh, not afraid to do any type of extra work to try to keep from tearing stuff up like I have seen 
I have watched the man. Uh, I have watched him. So we're gonna take this jack in some. I don't want to bend the stand. So I like to roll it up some. And the reason why is because if you don't, the shorter that little, uh, the shorter that is, the less likely it is to bend. Okay. Let's change. Put them up on my cable. Now, as soon as I can see the lip clear the brick, see that? Now I can start putting my bed onto the lip. Watch, watch that lip. Watch it, see it? Now I'm on the bed. Okay, so now that that's the case, let me move this brick and I'm gonna take the brick too so they can have it where it's going. I'll get it all off the truck. All right this because why not come down why come down empty-handed right okay usually a lot of times y'all when there's a broken axle I have to do some snatch block stuff keeping the trailer straight on the bed but we'll uh, check that out when it comes and it usually typically I only have to take these two off and the reason why is because the tires um, I gotta get these strap but the reason why is because the tires let me go ahead and get this in my hand just in case I need it, so I don't have to climb back up once I start. All right. And I can pull, I can pull this with my hand and guide it, but it's a lot better to, uh, to just do this. Okay, see that? That'll bring it over. See, what I'm trying to do is, you see this tire? I'm trying to keep these tires, and I'll show you. Let's make sure this is staying off the ground. Yeah, I'm trying to keep these tires off the ground. I mean, uh, let's see, we're gonna do this. There we go. I'm trying to keep that tail end off the ground, not the tires. So I might scoop it from here. It just depends. Um, but first I need to undo my snatch block because I believe I'm good and centered where I can, about the best it can be at least. Oh, you know what? That helps. We'll take this real quick. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it again. It's... This here, just trying to keep it straight on the truck, y'all. All right, so now I'm happy with this. What I'm going to do is just real quick get this up I'm gonna get a strap on it that way when I go to lean it up I won't have anything to worry about and I'm then I can put my chain on it because I do straps and chains with these just because I don't want to take any chances of anything going south these are uh, a little bit more fun to tow than like your typical vehicle you know I mean I you know what I don't like that I'm gonna have to come over here. Yeah, that's better. This way I'm, I'm staying off of the, uh, okay, you gotta get a new strap. This way I'm staying off of the, you know, or at least I'm trying to. I'm gonna go get one over there on and I'll tighten them up a little bit more as I go. So 
now I'm going to level the bed out and hang the hook. I know now that with these two straps, it's uh, she's pretty solid. I'm going to leave it tilted just a little bit, but not all the way. I just want to make it to where it's easy for me to get up and hook right here. And I'm not going to all the way behind it. tight not tight enough a little bit more hooks tight a little bit more all right now we're gonna keep it legal here it would probably ride down the road like this y'all but the law in georgia says this is what must be girl out yep yeah man I uh I'm working on making shirts right now y'all uh, it's gonna have the truck on it it's gonna have uh, the Malone's towing channel and also it's gonna say certified hooker I'm I'm creating the shirts as we speak building them well I will create them I hopefully I'll have some ordered and be able to show y'all and we can also work on them from there like different colors and stuff I just I'm coming up with the basic design now uh, it's you got to be kind of careful because uh, to be able to put the peat on there I gotta I can't be doing like copyright infringement so, uh, there's laws with all this that you have to obey so I got to be careful but yeah uh, it's gonna have the peat on it and then on the back of it and then on the front it's gonna say certified hooker with some with some uh, recovery hooks and uh and it's gonna also say the Malone's towing channel all right y'all I'm happy with that y'all see y'all whenever I get that unloaded thank you for watching so he wants enough room to work That'll do it for me. Yeah, that's gonna do it. To the wall but they just told me not to have it too close to the wall so try to give enough room to get a jack a jack in here and tools to be able to even though they're not working on this side of it uh, yeah. even though the broken parts on the other side maybe maybe they gotta take parts apart over here too I guess to be able to I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. But where I'd be doing work. Getting off. <clears throat> I gotta get in a little bit better headspace, y'all. I have um I guess I'm missing my bosses really bad. And that's kind of crazy because they're only on vacation for a week, but uh so my boss Richard is my normal dispatcher, y'all. Um he owns the business. 
him and his wife 50 50. so when he's dispatching that means your dispatcher because he's usually the dispatcher and when he's dispatching he makes he makes money when the truck's making money so the trucks do the all the trucks always do i mean he's <laughs> richard is no joke when it comes to dispatching right like by himself in that office or him and laura in that office i'd put them up against any whole whole group and team of dispatchers just them two by themselves um what and then let's let's get even more into it uh richard by himself right by himself like, i i will honestly say without dispatching anybody uh any two people i've ever seen so yo That's how you know you you do a real good job whenever your employees uh, immediately miss you when you're gone. That's how you know you're an amazing boss. I think it's, he said it's a hub is what it's called. At first I thought it was an axle and then he corrected me because I'm not, not a mechanic. This motherfucker was just here. Yeah, that right there. I, you know what, I actually appreciate you saying that. I'm not, Bubba, I, I, I wish that, uh, I wish I knew more, you know what I mean? But, well, I and I tell them all the time, they're like, oh, what do you think? I'm like, well, we that's not my hat, brother. I'm like, <laughs> you want the hat? I was like, call Midtown, bro. They know what they're doing. Tow truck drivers will come here and tell us exactly what's wrong with the yeah, And then they'll exactly. tell the customer, and too. Then they'll tell the customer, oh, wrong. yeah, yeah. And there's another customer, like, well, my tow truck driver exactly. said it was the alternator. Well, I'm sorry, man. That you need a new ice. Exactly what it is an alternator. Never me, bro. Just happened. Never me, I promise. Dude, it's not my hat. I got you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am no mechanic, y'all. I'm not going to lie to my customers and be like, oh, this is what it is. I, you know, you gotta, you gotta let them wear their hats. That's their specialty. That's what they're trained for. You don't take, you can't take their, uh, their credit. I ain't. All right, so both tires are chalk. Now I'm gonna roll the bed out from underneath it. And then at the same time, I'm gonna get the brick. And we're gonna get the brick set up underneath. forward just one more time just trying to make sure that things stay off the ground there we go that was my the magical noise okay y'all if you haven't already smashed that like button subscribe to the channel thank you for watching